Hey, what's going on guys? Rob the Warrior Strategist coming at you from mostly sunny San Diego. It is raining today. Uh, this video is dedicated to Liz Germain who demanded during a Facebook Live that I create a video and take her training and make something out of it. I love being called out by professionals, so Liz, this is for you. What we're gonna talk about today is how to create a digital magazine I am the CEO of Shift Advanced Life Design Magazine, uh, proudly displayed the wall. I interview entrepreneurs, business, uh, business coaches, business owners, special ops, all kinds of people, just professionals, and reverse engineer their processes, what makes them experts, and do a lot of how-to articles. Shift has been around for three years. It is a free-to-read magazine and eventually I'm gonna to go to a subscription service, but for now I'm just kind of enjoying the process and learning how it goes. So what we're gonna cover in this video is we're gonna talk about why you should start a magazine, the actual technicals behind it, um, how to build your team, how to get stories, how to get engaging content, and then how to promote it. So in about a 10 minute video, I'm gonna show you everything involved to start your own digital magazine and to get out there and to use it as an elevation source for your business because my primary business as Rob the Warrior Strategist is an actual business consultant. Like I, I help entrepreneur, entrepreneurs to get business growth, but owning a magazine helps to leverage social currency, gives me handshake deals with celebrities and famous peoples, people, and is a way of creating social value for people, particularly early stage, low growth entrepreneurs that are new to the game and that are trying to get early stage coverage. Um, Shift is a labor of love. It was profitable within month two, and in that time, I've interviewed SEAL Team Six, Delta Force, Seven Figure Coaches, New York Times best-selling authors, like a lot of really big names, which is one of the advantages of starting your own magazine. So let's just talk about it. Like right off the bat, when you're figuring out how to do your magazine, you're gonna need to create some kind of basic template. So each issue should have some type of consistency to it. So you should have like a table of contents, an editorial, a certain space allocated for ads, a main feature, um, and then a series of smaller importance articles, all of them fairly consistent throughout the layout of each magazine and always upgrade, right? So I started off shift uh, doing it myself, doing the covers myself uh, with a very basic logo and it showed. So early stage, you need to bring in some subject matter experts to help you. I had to teach myself everything about creating a magazine. It was kind of a pain, but essentially I can run the whole show if I need to, which is kind of cool. The only thing that I outsource are the covers. Uh, my covers are done by a pro, Richard Hill, former Air Force vet uh, of Hill Media. So he makes me a cover every single month. And then I have guest writers, which I brought on for this month, Laura and Sarah. Uh, thank you both. Um, in order to take some of the work off my plate because for the longest time of the last three years, I've done everything but the cover. I'm talking like write all the articles, do the design work, upload it to the website, um, sales, marketing, all that stuff. So let's jump into it. Once you figure out what the theme of your magazine is going to be and what you're going to have for features every single month, the first thing you want to do is to create a basic, I call this the part one diagram where you just hand jam out all your ideas for what you're gonna have. So for this holiday issue, it's gonna be a double issue covering November and December. It's the nonprofit issue. So we're gonna write about a bunch of nonprofits and I just started writing down ideas for it. So I'm gonna interview like the uh, Stephanie Brown, the CEO of, of the Rosie Network here in San Diego. I'm gonna interview Adrian Phillips from uh, the Savvy, which is Strategic Alliance for Veterans Initiative. Um, and Bunker Labs. And then I'm also gonna talk about Clever Talks, which hosted me as a VIP speaker. So all these nonprofits are gonna get coverage in this issue shift. And then I'm also gonna feature, um, I also cover podcasts and books. So I'm gonna cover like the Tucker Bearden Show and then I do something called Spotlight where I put three people that are on the lower end of, of uh, business exposure in the magazine to give them some coverage. So it's, it's a pretty cool little little magazine. It teaches people. It's about 30 pages each issue that comes out. Um, we try and do it every month, but this, uh, this holiday season was a little hectic. I had my own branded event. I was speaking at an event, all the stuff. So I just decided to combine November and December. And because Shift is free, I don't have to answer to um, 
any type of subscribers. I can do as many or as few issues as I want, which is awesome. Uh, when it's free, you don't have to answer to anyone. So let's talk about the actual technicals of it. So once you have your, your brain dump right here, where you just know these are the things you're gonna write about, then you go to stage two, which is the professional diagram and layout. And as you can see, I'm super high tech with my graph paper here. And what I do, I do this for numbering and accountability. So I know that it's gonna be about 30 pages. I know where the ads are gonna be. I know how long each, each article roughly is gonna be as I'm writing them. And then cover, table of contents, editorial, ad, and then I have the number that goes along with it um, for design purposes because every left page says shift, every right page says advanced life design. So you have to factor in all these things when you're doing the editing. As far as the technical hosting, Here's the process for creating my magazine. Um, some people do it differently, but this is how I've done it. It works out pretty well. Um, I use canva.com, which is free graphic design software to create all the articles and the, uh, the interior work. I export as a PDF. So now I have all these PDFs in sequential order for the magazine. And then I use an app called PDF Mergy, which essentially takes all your small PDFs and combines them like Voltron into uh, a giant mega PDF. And so that becomes the issue in PDF form. Once that's done, I check it to see, to make sure like none of the features or layouts like jumped or any of the pictures are wonky or anything. And then I upload it to a hosting site. So right now I just use canva.com to write all of them. Then I use PDF Mergy to take all the PDFs, make them one big PDF. Then I upload to a free hosting site. My preferred one is called Jumag, J-O-O-M-A-G. And the other one out there is called issue.com, I-S-S-U-U, -S -S -U -U, I think. And I'm gonna leave links to all this in comments below. So once I upload to the free hosting site, then it's time for promotion. So my magazine goes out to my main Facebook feed. Shift has its own um, Facebook page. And then it also goes out to like LinkedIn, Twitter, my email list, and then I will ping a couple of famous people to get the word out. And that's the beauty of it. When you start interviewing high level people, they have a much wider reach and a wider audience. So if you can get them to share the magazine out, you're gonna get a lot of new readers. So just things to think about with your promotion strategy. Now, the next question that people usually ask me is how do I monetize this? Or is this something I'm just gonna work on forever and waste hundreds of hours of my time so I can brag to my friends that I own a magazine? Um, there are several ways to monetize a magazine. The main way is pay for features where people will pay you to be featured. Then you can sell ads. You can um, sell bundle packages. So you sell a couple things or months of ads. Uh, you can also do barter with goods-based companies to where they send you free stuff and then you feature, um, you feature them in your magazine. I was just looking for some of the, the stuff that I've been sent in the, in the past. I've gotten some really nice things from, uh, from veteran business owners. Like uh, Pins by Bob sent me a custom pin with my logo on it, which is somewhere around here. Um, but that's one of the beauty, one of the beautiful items, uh, the beautiful features of owning a media juncture is that people will send you free stuff for coverage, which is great. I will absolutely take it anytime. Um, another way to monetize is make it a subscription service once you have a certain level of readership. And that's a nice little uh, source of side income as well. So there's a few ways you can monetize your magazine um, and turn it into something once you get a certain amount of readership. So we've covered the technicals, how to create the magazine, how to monetize it, how to get story ideas. Um, let's talk about some of the subject matter experts you might need for the magazine. You'll definitely need a cover person. You want to do professional looking covers. You're going to probably want to bring in some writers and you're probably going to want to do, um, you, you're going to want to recruit someone that can do layouts for you because layouts are very, very tough and they're time consuming. I do my own layouts, but I definitely need a person to come in and take care of it. Uh, there are a lot of magazines out there that people have created. Uh, some of the ones I can think of in San Diego or around the country. Steven De La Cruz made uh, Success by Design. Hannah Edwards, Empowered Business Magazine. Brian Wright, a good friend of mine, Success Profiles Magazine. And Denise Thompson made something called Global Voice Magazine, which is super lengthy. I was really impressed because Denise made a really, really um, robust product. So 
all these people are out there with their magazines making it happen alongside Shift Advanced Life Design. Um, if you're thinking about it, highly advise you to create a magazine. Don't worry about making it perfect the first time. Worry about being consistent and constantly upgrading. What are some of the advantages I've had? Um, I now have interactions with high level uh, influencers and special ops and New York Times bestselling authors. I was featured at Mark Cuban's event as a speaker because I'm a media platform uh, owner. So I got to speak on stage uh, and get broadcast to thousands of vets, which is awesome. And I get to get side income from ads and features. So there's a lot of side benefits you're gonna get from starting your own magazine. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to uh, answer them. Just leave them in comments. And uh, if you would, share this video and let's, get, let's help some people to make their own magazines. Thank you for watching this. This is Rob Garcia, Garcia, the warrior strategist coming out of San Diego and take care.